On June 17th, Governor J.B. Pritzker announced a series of equity-driven grant programs, pledging $900 million in support of small businesses and working families who have been most severely economically impacted by COVID-19. Just like the virus went after our most vulnerable people, it also hit the most vulnerable parts of our economy. It's our small businesses, our working families, our communities of color that have paid the highest price. Hi, I'm Olivia Yarvis, a reporter here at The Daily, and I'm going to walk you through all of the different programs within this grant package. Two of the programs center on housing. For struggling tenants, the Illinois Housing Development Authority is launching the Emergency Rental Assistance Program, an $150 million first-come, first-served program that will benefit about 30,000 renters. Any grants will be given to a landlord or property owner on the tenant's behalf, in exchange for an agreement not to evict the tenant for the duration of their assistance period. A similar program called the Emergency Mortgage Assistance Program exists for homeowners. This $150 million program will be divided into $15,000 grants and could assist about 10,000 homeowners. The grant funds for this first-come, first-served program will be given directly to the mortgage loan servicer on behalf of the homeowner. To be eligible for assistance, renters and homeowners must certify that their payment troubles stemmed from a COVID-19-related loss of income on or after March 1st. Renters must have an unpaid rent balance continuing from March through present day, and homeowners must demonstrate that they are behind in their payments or in a forbearance period on or after March 2020 through present day. Both the renter and homeowner programs are in development and will begin in August and continue through the end of the year. Finally, the current residential eviction ban will continue through July 31st to ease the transition into these assistance programs. If you need more immediate assistance, the Housing Development Authority advises speaking with your landlord or mortgage servicer. For more general information about renter protections and how to manage your mortgage payments during the pandemic, you can visit the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau's website or IDHA's website. Small businesses will also receive support under Pritzker's grant package. Through the Business Interruption Grants Program, an initial phase of grants worth $60 million will be given to small businesses that are either completely shut down or heavily restricted due to COVID-19 and are located in disproportionately impacted areas, or DIAs. Evanston zip codes are not located within a disproportionately impacted area, but businesses in certain sectors can still apply for business interruption grants. Bars and restaurants, barbershops and salons, as well as gyms and fitness centers are all eligible. Businesses that have faced recent property damage will also be prioritized. Application instructions and materials, as well as full eligibility requirements, can be found on the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunities website. The Distressed Capital Program is another small business-oriented grant fund targeting businesses that experienced property damage as a result of the recent protests and demonstrations. This $25 million recovery program will aid the cost of structural and electrical repairs, as well as the restoration of storefronts and building exteriors. Women in minority-owned businesses, under or uninsured businesses, businesses with high community impacts, and businesses in communities with histories of disinvestment will be prioritized in this program. Minority and women-owned businesses will also be prioritized while hiring contractors for necessary repair work. Applications for distressed businesses will be available on the DCEO website at a later date. These businesses must be located within areas deemed eligible for capital grants by the Rebuild Illinois for Economic Distressed Areas program. These eligible locations are yet to be determined. The remaining $32.5 million will be allocated towards a series of poverty alleviation strategies. Funds will be allocated to food banks, unemployed adults, summer youth providers, Illinois black and brown farmers, mental health services, community-based organizations for healing and restorative activities, and temporary assistance for needy families. Finally, up to $5 million will be allocated to supporting senior residents' medical and grocery needs as part of the Department on Aging's expansion of the Emergency Senior Services Funds.